Hey everybody, I just wanted to talk to you today about Google Calendar and some of the cool things that you could do with it um, as far as using it for your company, sharing calendars. Most people know how to share calendars, but just in case you don't, um, down here on the left side you're going to see your calendars and your tasks. And on the uh, drop down under other calendars, these are the other people that may or may not have shared their calendar with you. You would just simply click it and it would either go away, you would click it again and their events would come back. You could do that with another calendar as well. Click it, they go away. Click it again, they come back. It gets a little complicated with smartphones because if I'm sharing my personal Google Calendar with my work Google Calendar, uh, then you'll get double notifications for things and um, so you'll want to be careful about about things like that but nevertheless the real thing I want to talk to you about is uh, adding labs to Google Calendar and uh, this is a lab over here on the far right side which is a world clock we work with some people that uh, are in Serbia and uh, there were some other things that we wanted to be able to use it for um, let me just give you an example if you create a Google event down here underneath description there's now a place to add an attachment so let's just say for an example you had a business meeting you wanted to upload a document so that people could uh, maybe fill some stuff out or perhaps it was even a Google Doc which is now Google Drive um, you could add add an attachment to the description which is actually quite quite cool so the way that you do it, it's real simple. Just over here on the right side, click on Settings. You'll drop that down, or the cog wheel, I'm sorry. And then hover down to Settings, click that. Once you click that, then you'll go to Labs. And then you click Labs. And these are just software uh, tools that people have uh, basically created themselves. And you just scroll down to Event Attachments. You see right here, just click the radio button and Enable. And I've actually enabled who's my one-on-one -on -one with, which is actually quite useful because you want to know, is it just one person or is it a group of people? That's kind of nice. There's some other ones in here as well. I think it can probably bog down your calendar if you're not careful, so I wouldn't go crazy. But we did do the world clock at the end, and then of course save your settings, and then you just click back to your calendar. So here's your world clock, and when you create, your added attachment is right there. You can just add it right from Google Drive. Thanks for watching the video and uh, make sure to subscribe, like, or comment any of the uh, uh, channels here, videos, and check out our website. It's orthodoxdaily.com. Thanks guys.